Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we're going out to the Warrens, the long run to get the Ancestor's Pen. I think this is pretty nice for a lot of different classes. Um, we're starting to see a lot of Ancestor's Trinkets come in. And uh, we're going to take out Shy Guy. He's level 4. Uh, we're giving him the Ancestor's Portrait to give him extra uh, Resolve XP. We're also giving him extra Crit and Speed at the cost of a little bit of healing received. Uh, we're taking out Dexter with the Cudgel Widget and the Ancestor's Map for some Scouting and Trap Disarm. Uh, we've got Ariasha with the extra crit and damage and accuracy versus marked. And then Krita, we're trying to get our other uh, Vestals into that level 6 range. And uh, we're taking Last Light and Sacred Stroll. Before we head out, let me just do a quick check here. Uh, just to make sure that we're not missing anything. And we are. Let's grab these. And Krita needs upgrades, so we'll take all of those. And then weapons-wise, yeah, we need upgrades here and here. Wow, pricey dicey. Pricey dicey. Okay. Warrens, let's roll. So provisions-wise, let's do like... Do like 20 food maybe it's oh it's a long run isn't it yeah let's take two stacks the warrens we can usually get food we'll do a few shovels uh bandages here or anti-venom i think bandages i think the wield is the ones that have more of the like fungal artillery stuff and this or sorry the yeah the wield has more fungal artilleries um so hopefully we don't need too much anti-venom. Torches will just take like two stacks, I think. Take some of these for curios, maybe. With all the scouting chances, maybe we find um, a hidden room. Okay, let's roll. Today's log comes from Bristlecone Pine, who writes for Pop Not the Sixth, our event chronicler. The war continues. Lord Art has now defeated the second tier of Masters of the Cove and close to doing so overall. His not returning to the farmstead concerns me, and he's considering an approach to the darkest dungeon itself, despite that the other overlords of the various areas are uncleared. What will happen if he does? I know not yet. A little bit behind there. Knop pock, knop knock. That is your real they name. Read quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Oh yeah, the stress if we have the pelagic plague. Or embrace. Ooh. Uh, these get rid of a negative quirk. Sick. All of those would be good to get rid of. That one, meh. Insipid's bad. Sainthood is annoying. That's not a big deal. That's kind of annoying. Any of those would be good. All right. Tough to say because let's go with with Ariasha. Night blindness. That was like the least worrisome one out of all of them. But that's fine. Whoa. Okay, well, we found a secret door. I have to go through an obstacle either way. I'm interested to see uh, some of the modded enemies. Hopefully they show up at the higher levels too, but... Let's go damage on the uh, stress dealer for now. Oh, shy guy. Wow. Nice one. I think it's probably safer if we just stun here. He's going to go at the beginning of the next round anyways. Let's see if we can straight kill him. As we can straight kill him. Falls, hope oh yeah, and these guys they do do anti or they do do um blight, so That'll do. Their formation nice. is broken. 
Maintain the offensive. We need to set these up a little differently. So just our standard attack. Then we have the Eye Thief Ravage for the Mark. Uh, or the Bleed. And we have Flanking Gouge for Armor Piercing versus Marked or Damage versus Bleed. And then we have the Swap. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Keep it lit. Ooh. Okay, now this, this engorged leech, is that new? Swine Ritiarius. I don't know if these are modded enemies or if these are just like things that we haven't seen in this higher level. Uh, let's try and stun this off. Nice. Get a pretty high resist too, actually. A lot of proc there. Uh Oof. Let's put damage on if we can. Maybe we'll mark him towards the end of the fight. Sanguine Siphon. What the frick is that? What was that? Whoa. Waits. He heals off of it. Yeah, that makes sense as a leech, but... Okay, so the leech dies, I think. Let's heal up our leper here. Nice dodge. Okay, so dead. Uh, let's actually do this to remove some prot from this guy. Now we get the damage versus Mark. We can't hit him. Hundred percent bleed skill amount versus Mark. Armor piercing versus marked. Let's do it. Nice dodge. Could probably just bandage this off, but seem to be holding strong. God. Minus crit, eh? Hey? Continue the onslaught. Goners. Destroy them all. Let's do this. Oh, nice crit. We'll mark him now. No prop for you. The dodge decks. Let's go the bleed, I think. Yep, very nice. Very nice. Bubbling. Let's see if we can stun him out. I'll take it. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. We'll leave that onyx. Um, hmm. We're going to be pretty limited here. In terms of what we can do. Uh, in terms of what we can carry. Unless we camp. Let's camp now. We'll get some buffs for the next few a battles. Without kindling is a goal without hope. 
And let's just do a small amount of food here. So we can prevent nighttime ambush. Her stuff may still happen. This could give the dodge, whereas this gives the party surprise. This does too, reduces the chances of us being surprised. But this gives the chance that they are. Let's do this one. We'll encourage here. We can stack the monster surprise if we want. And then let's... Actually, we don't need to do that at all. Ah, whoops. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, let's see. In Radiance, okay, cool. may we find victory. A lot of heirlooms. Um, we'll get rid of these for special ones. All right, see ya, heirlooms. Bye-bye. We'll take the cash. We need the cash for upgrades anyways, so I'm fine with it. I think the way that we'll approach this is we'll go down and around, up, hit over to here, and we'll see. We'll probably get some scouts along the way as well. Holy water? Sure. The dodge. Oh boy. Got the surprise. Very good. So we're at a 35% chance additional that we're going to surprise these guys. If I can stun out one mosquito, that's good. Now I can focus on the other. Ugh. Yeah, I had a feeling. I was like, maybe we should just use this buff there, but... That's great. I wanted somebody else with the curse anyway, so... Glad we're on the same page. I feel like my frames went wonky here. Frick. There you go. Advantage. Give them no quarter. Ouch. Nice fifty dodge. Casual. Soothed. Sedated. Oh, and I just realized too, she has the prevent nighttime ambush thing. Uh, getting these, I guess, is nice, but we might have been able to just use other stuff. Okay, this thing. We can hit this at debuff dodge. Executed. Or not. Oh, yeah, I didn't switch it. Excellent. Ooh, nice. Okay, we've dodged a couple of those now, so... It means our luck is going to be a running out. Confidence surges a lot of crits. The enemy crumbles. Okay. Ouch. Compassion. 
passion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. The dodge. Let's uh, set up a mark here. Probably better for him to do it because of the... Uh, we'd be removing some of the prot, actually. Accuracy is okay, too, because he's dropping those huge subterranean skewers. Nice. Okay. I'm starting to really like this Falconer class. We're still not using it like maximum efficiency. So too will resist. Oh, Journey of Diana Falconer. We've embarked on our mission. I've already got a bad feeling. Not one hour from leaving, and the new blood is already complaining. Too much walking, she says. Too much dirt, she says. Worst is she comes to the expedition dressed in a fancy robe and wielding a broken mirror. What's her reasoning for such strange equipment? She says it's comfortable. I'll never understand these city folk. Yep. Hard life weird city folk okay well let's have these and I think we'll focus on money still have a long ways to go another good scout I wonder if I should even be opening these. I'm not going to take them. Probably not. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. It does feel as if money is going to be the biggest helper for us. I should have swapped that so her speed isn't being buffed. We're actually debuffing their dodge. You know what? Let's take the buff here. It's going to be a couple of rounds. Stun the swine. Hold on a second. So this is a crit mod of 13 plus 60 damage versus marked. This is a crit mod of 9 plus 60 damage versus bleeding. So this one's better. Nice. Nice dodges. Oh, that sucks. Speed 10, speed 7. Let's hope that we go before him. Nice. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Hmm. Uh... God, they just keep throwing this stuff at us. I'm gonna leave it. I'm tempted to say we should only go for the money when we do antiquarian runs, because they can stack higher and so on and so forth, but we just don't have antiquarians in our life. We got one at level six. So it's not gonna be a very good uh, ongoing thing. Let's change here. We're gonna try to get rid of some of this dodge. I uh, resisted it. Pretty much the same pattern as last time. Let's 
Let's take out him. Oh, the dodge. Goddamn. We would have debuffed that. Might not have happened. Size has no Holy crap. Merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Watch. Okay, then. This expedition at least promises success. Oh, very nice. I think we go back to her. Insipid. Oh, I thought the one that we removed was this one. I was wrong. I can't remember what it was now. Insipid, calm, agiomania. Any of those would be nice. Okay, cool. Not touching that. The way A is 50 lit. foot pole. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, so we have to dip into this corner. Rack of blades. Mm, let's get rid of the key. I don't think you can have two secret rooms. I could be wrong. I don't think you can. What? The hell was that? Weird. Okay. Large flesh eater. Let's see if we can get rid of her first. Precision. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. buff up here. We do take that extra damage, but I think we have the sustain to get through it. Take the damage versus mark, or versus bleeding. Oh, she can only hit the front, too. Ah, uh, we can put more bleed on. Well struck. There, she's toast. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Let's get rid of all of that frock there. Oh, we he resisted the debuff. Yeah, that's gotta go, man. Shy guy, if you're gonna make it, this uh both of these have to go. Try to remove some of the dodge and the speed. There we go. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Boom. We still have dog treats. I haven't forgotten about them. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. I just can't think of any, like, crucial upgrades that we need at, uh, at base. Like, reasons as to why we should have, um, the heirlooms over the money at this point. Swine Skyver. So I'm gonna have to look at that mod and see maybe if I can find what the specific enemy types are. It's hard to know if these are just, you know, it's a level 5 dungeon in the wield, or if this is from that new mod. These guys are pretty appropriately themed, but it's hard to tell. A lot of prot there. Put some bleed on. Oh, he resisted it. Damn it. Let's 
So it's weird. Uh, that's weird that it like goes both ways. Not sure how that siphon's working necessarily. I guess he says it even if he's full health. We've dodged a lot of those vomit attacks. Whoa. Damn. Okay, Leech is gone. That's something. Let's mark here and try to remove Prot. Got it. Prepare the slaughter. What the frick? Disease resist? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. He's cool, he's cool, he's cool. Let's hold down the heaver. God. Not buffing that always sucks. Decimated. Feeling pretty confident up there, it seems. Forty nine health. I should have went the other way for the bleed. There you go. This is taking a lot longer than I would like. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. I can't believe he's alive. I cannot believe he's alive. Speed 10, too. Damn it. I, got, I misplayed this fight for sure. Feels awkward. Should have maybe went for a round of healing there, but... Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay. Uh, food, probably. Yep. Okay, so we're at 11 torches still. We still have a room to camp, so I think up here we'll do it. Uh, what do we do with this one? I can't remember. Oh, I just walked right into it too. Excellent. Okay, let's camp here. Now she prevents Altogether, nighttime ambush. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Let's just do some buffs here. Do some resistances. Little de stress there. I guess we might as well take this for the surprise factor. Uh, 
All right. The light, the promise of safety. Ooh, jeez. One, two, three, four, but we have other battles to go through as well. Let's go north. Hey, bulbous maggots. My favorite kind of maggots, actually. Dead. Destroyed. Oh, oh. Dead. If we can one-shot each of these. Mind you, we have a hue as well, so... Let's see. Bah! Classic shy guy. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Yeah, you would be stressed. Eradicated. I hate to waste one of our buffs on this battle too, but obliterated. What do you do? Be wary. Oh What do we do we do we do it? Fall. I wasn't asking you, Siri, for Christ's sakes. You know what? I've never done it. We've had the Shambler show up, but I've never called one in. This is our second time ever fighting a Shambler. This is a terrible way to begin. Okay, so we're going to swap this to debuff, I think, or we can go bleed. Let's debuff the dodge and speed. Resisted it. Frick. Let's take a buff. And then let's mark. There we go. Got the minus 30 prot. Ears. Good vision. Awesome. The end approaches. Clapper claw doesn't seem to be a big doesn't seem to be a joke. Need some big crits back there. Big crits. Uh, take one. I'm a bit concerned about that. I'm actually going to take this time to move and not heal him, which is questionable. I could maybe guard him right now. Let's do a quick guard. Okay, now we go dog treats. Damage on big boy. She needs to be back even one more, doesn't she? Hmm. I can't really swap her right now. So let's try and focus on that bleed, I guess. Get extra bleed versus mark. There we go. Yikes. The wounds of war can Okay, be now we just have to spam group. But never hidden. Frick! This might have been a terrible decision. Yikes. Reeling. About to break. Yikes, yikes, yikes. We need to get out of here and fast. Oh, he doesn't have that now. 6% damage versus bleeding. Do some deep shit.
Nice dodge. Ah, frick. To a killing blow. Oh, okay, really? Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Abusive. I don't like that. Oh, she's gonna get checked. Oh, no! What a quick downturn. Self-preservation is paramount at any cost. Frick. Ah, oh, this is so bad. What an absolute shit show this turned into so fast, too. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Uh oh. God damn it! More ashes. More disappointment. Powerful. Well, that's something, I suppose. Should I waste time marking now? No. Ah. Uh... This is so crazy. This got out of control real fast. And now the true test. Hold fast. Come on now. Expire. Of course you would. Of course. Oh wait, I can't torch in here. Okay. Yeah, I guess I kind of have to mark. Of any hope. Look at all that prot. I can't do shit against this. These clapper claws, I didn't realize it buffs up that huge. Okay, so we're in like full defense mode. A momentary abatement. Clarified in a single strike. God, can we run? Holy crap. I need out. Palpable fear. Just everybody. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal. Wow. Themselves. Oh my god. <laughs> so terrible. Holy frick. We're out of here. But in failing to recognize it. Oh, what a what a disaster. What a disaster. Failure tests the metal. Absolute Heart, disaster. And body. Dexter down, Ariasha down. Just as I was like, oh, I kinda like this class. Okay, well, I will not be fighting that shambler again. I thought we would be well prepared there, but can you feel it? A couple of swaps really screwed us. The insane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Unnecessary setback, to say the least. And I think we lost their trinkets too, didn't we? Oh, that sucks. Feet. Oh. Oh, sh oh, yes. Defeat your boss to recover your two lost trinkets. Yes, please. That'll be happening. Okay. So we might actually hire some of these guys. Uh, specifically, Man at Arms looking pretty good there. Um, Plague Doctors looking nice. I think we only have two Plague Doctors, if I'm not mistaken. I don't understand what that is. Yeah, so let's bring in... Do we just bring in a third? I think so. 
About the space. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield. And our man at arms, the one that we do have, is currently level four, so we'll bring in another one. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. Shield breaker, two duchess. Okay. So, uh, let me go find these new people. I'll introduce you, and then we're going to get those trinkets back. Okay, so, first up, we've got Xander's coming in with some okay skills here. Natural swing is nice. Warrior of light's good. Natural, not so good, I don't think. Um, scopophobia. Stress while marked. Sunward phobe. So, soft we'll have to get rid of. Demonomania and resolution. Uh, his backstory is this. As a boy, Xander was always unlucky. If something could go wrong, it would. <laughs> You're going to fit right in with our man-at-arms. However, life had a habit of kicking him while he was down. When he believed his life had finally taken a turn for the better fate, to throw him one more wild card and yet another trial when he found out his wife has a pox that can only be cured with an expensive potion. In order to save her, he left his faithful hound Shadow behind with his daughter Athena. Having been a cursed knight, he knew he had become... A mercenary of some kind. Eventually joining a company run by his old CO, Theron. After years of service and his constant misfortune, Xander heard tale or heard tell of a dark dungeon and a miss a mission of almost impossible or certain sorry. And a mission of almost certain death. Having no other option, Xander signed up, preparing himself for his doom or triumph. Welcome to the squad, Xander. I wish you much better luck than our previous man at arms. Um who we will visit soon. Next up, we've got the Rat, who's got Unholy Hater, Clutch Hitter. Very good. Ah, eh, not very good. Yokai Slayer. Uh, this guy's really good in Sunward Isles, I would say. Diurnal's not a huge deal. Habit of Offending Others. Fragile, we should get rid of. And Insipid. Whew, both of those are real bad. Uh, the Rat's backstory. Rat is adaptable. They thrive where others might struggle. They simply might not necessarily like it. They're solemn and tend to stick to the edges of the group, watching and memorizing the dynamics under which the others operate. Rat simply wants to survive and find a place to belong in the long run. Hey, you can stay here. You can stay here. I'm sure that you'll have a good time. You're, I'm going to make your room real nice. So you stay. Look at the graveyard. Holy moly. So week eight comes around. We're like, oh, God, we, made, we had our first loss. And then we didn't lose anybody for another 21 weeks. And then we had another decent stretch there, 12 weeks, and then four weeks later, and then 13 weeks, or wait, uh, 17 weeks later, and then one week, <laughs> eight weeks, seven weeks, and we just lost two huge, oh, uh, mm, that sucks so bad. I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed. But that's what we get. I will not be summoning a shambler, okay? Fine. We fought it the one time, and we won. Fought it the second time, did not win. I felt confident, and you know what they say. You know what they say. Kill one Shriekling's nest. Defeat the boss to recover two of your lost trinkets. Okay. Let's go. Man-at-arms? You want to get in there? Where are you? Let's bring, uh, we'll bring Lytus. Take Retribution here. Take these buffs. Um, I wonder... You know what? Let's do something a bit... Let's do something weird. <laughs> what, could go, what could go wrong? Let's take both of these guys. Let's take them both. Um, next, we'll take... We need our three spots, or our, our three and four spots, I should say. Uh, we could bring Ariad. Now, we've had some decent luck focusing exclusively on healing there. And then they need a third position. What if we bring her in? Don't really have any great synergies. Armor piercing is nice. Bypassing guard is nice. These guys can do some stuff from third position, like stun. 
Could bring uh, Jacolio, maybe. How long is this? Mild. What the frick is mild? Locate their hidden nest, reclaim two of your lost trinkets. So this is not the same as before we fought an actual, like, shrieker. It says we need to kill a shriekling's nest. And it's going to give us two of our trinkets. Not all of them, but it's fine. Uh... Oh, you know what? Maybe this is where we bring out one of our jesters. So we have Dirk Stab, Battle Ballad, and Finale. Put him here. You focus on healing. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do this one that gives uh, the nighttime ambush and heals 2 HP, so when we do that first buff and when we de-stress. And then we'll go the tambourine, I think. Man-at-arms. We've got some eye patches. You could take an eye patch. And you can take the stun chance. Ooh, hold on a sec. Minus 25% speed. Okay, yeah. so let's give that to him. We'll give the faster guy a stun chance, but it removes natural, so that's why we see that big drop. Then we can do... Accuracy prot. Repost gong. Lamia, I guess we go Junior's head. And the Book of Stress to offset some of that. Mind you, we have our Jester. Let's go here. It's a lot of extra stress, but... Let's hope that that's okay. Okay, so... I don't know what a mild thing is, but maybe we just fight it straight up. I'm not actually sure. Let's, um... Try it. Cannot retreat from this quest. <laughs> yep. Let's go. I'm going to take all the food. A few of these. Both of those. Just because I don't know what to expect, so... Let's see. Unlike the Mother's Nest, the Shrieklings is hidden within the wield. So this might be a lot of, like, diving around, looking for stuff. Ooh. Like the man-at-arms twins up front. I like so far. I like. Probably regret this very soon. Now, none of these connect. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, so... Buff the team. There is some AoE here, at least. Which actually works out pretty nice. Uh, do we have... A D-Stealth? We don't. Let's just try and pull one. It's a bit unfortunate. Body and brain. Let's 
set up retributions on this guy. When we're doing stuns, we'll have to pay attention to who's who. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Okay, so she's guarding. Let's be careful with that. And put a little damage on. Move back up. There we go. And then we'll start healing. Nice. As the take him out. Rolls, the faint hope blossoms. Excellent. You're fine. I'm gonna have to pull like an allure here, I think. I think we can hit third. Yes. Very good. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. De-stress everybody. Lovely. Okay, not a bad start on our As path of revenge. Mount. So too will resistance. So it looks like uh, maybe we only we're just going down all these tunnels, and you know if we get lucky, we find it sooner. If not, find it later. Either way, I'm pissed. <laughs> I am pissed. This isn't. Oh wow, that was accidental. This isn't even. Um... You know, I know that the shrieker technically didn't do anything to us, but the shrieker, the shambler, might as well all be the same thing. I don't care. It's interesting they call this a mild run because um, certainly we've never seen that verbiage before. There's no camping, so I don't know why it's different than short. Other than the fact that I guess it's just like you're not actually traversing around anything. You're going out on these single checks to these rooms. Thinking about the, uh, the final dungeons. I like the darkest dungeons. I'm thinking like a Vestal is probably good in every one of them. Same with the, the Jesters, but I don't know if that's going to be too repetitive. Okay, come on. Are you for real? Quite clear that we brought way too much in here, but it's kind of my thing. Overpacking. Could have had our economy in a much better shape this entire time, but you know what? Live and learn, right? This is the furthest I've ever been in Darkest Dungeon. I, I think we're doing okay, all things Nature considered. Herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed. I'm guessing it's intent. gotta be here, right? Yeah. So what the Does it fight back? The light. The promise of safety. Let's uh no we can't even debuff here. The abyss returns even the boldest. Nice crit. Days. Summon Shriekling's attacks get stronger effects as the nest HP lowers. Okay. We'll set up these retributions. Should also drink some holy waters. So he's going to spawn stuff, I guess. Yeah, call the murder. That's cool. That's cool. Light at 130, they have a bunch of resists. You can stun at 120, 50% chance each. Let's try it. Got one. That's cool. Puts her back in that spot as well. 
Let's buff everybody. Let me get some crits going. I'm going to try to focus the nest. Horde Shriek. I know, we'll deal with... We'll kind of let our repost handle this stuff, maybe. Okay, so we have a guard. We want to stun that off, I guess. Or, we could try this. Um... Says it breaks guard. Yep, I'm fine with that. This bypasses guard too, as we learned recently. Big crit, setting up for a finale. I don't want to move forward here, actually. Let's just reset our retribution. Dodge. Oh, whoops. Frick. As the enemy ah, the guard. I forgot. I saw him at it, too. Gonna drop a finale here. No crit, but that's cool. of a bit of stress. Boom, baby. Size has the birds no leave the nest? Merit, yep. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. And we got some of these bad boys. Okay, so there's our cudgel widget and our ancestor's map. Those were both on uh, Dexter. And a decent haul. Fast healer. A lot of fast healers. Stress fasters. NUE, virtue chance. Both of those we'll get rid of. Ancient Cloister's locked, but the other stuff the is cheaper. Fares no better than the faith of its congregation. Okay. Three corrupted altars. Okay. 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 So we don't get any XP from that? Or they got very little. I guess that doesn't count as doing, like, a full quest, unfortunately. Awesome! Everything's going great! Thanks for asking. <laughs> Jesus. How are we at for stress here? Krita. Yeah, we should probably deal with that. Ooh, you don't say. Champion Paracausalist. Pretty sure our other one is champion. But, now that we have this extra space... I think we could bring in uh, a second pair of Causalist here. Uh, Plague Doctors, we can upgrade Harold. Dr. Harold Sirius. And it's the blue rat face. This one has become vestigial. Useless. And then our sisters. Saria's so already six. I think that's fine. I don't think we need more than that. <sighs> okay. So what's the plan now? I think the plan is to do some level threes wherever we see them because we need to get our jesters higher ranked.
So it's just a matter of where we want to go. Maybe we go out here. Beast Slayer Ring. Sniper's Ring. We looked at this before. Not sure if we ever picked it up, though. Yeah, we did. All right. So let's go Beast Slayer Ring out in the Sunward Isles. We'll bring only a level 3 there. Uh, Lightus, you can come back. Iphigenia, you can maybe do our healing. Shy Guy. Let's grab a D Stealth. Uh, I'm probably never going to use that. This I would definitely use. All companions getting extra speed. I like. We don't have a prevent nighttime ambush in this group, though. How long is this run? It's a medium run. Uh, we can just wear the trinket. That's right. Okay, so we're going to go with... Oh, let's unequip. Do this one on him and probably the tambourine. Let's do that. Accuracy and crit versus marked. Which we're not going to do a lot of, I don't think. So with her, let's see, let's get our lepers going with uh, resolve XP. I think we just do like a junior's head, I guess. Accuracy and crit. Then we'll go damage here. Oh, wait a sec. Is our other one... No. Was it the Plague Doctor that we brought in? Yeah, really good in this area. But then we don't have a healer, really. And her healing's already not that good. It's okay. I think we'll be fine here. Uh, we should take that yokai protection. The uh, stone paw. Extra dodge multiplier in the Sunward Isles. Dodges at 25 there. That's actually pretty heavy. I'm going to take that instead of the tambourine. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that we might want to take out to this specific area. Could do some damage reflection, perhaps. I don't know. I think this is probably okay. It's not amazing, but it's going to have to do as we get these guys leveled up. Mostly this is to get our Jester, our Man-at-Arms, our Leper up there. Iphigenia, yes, as well, but I can't see a good use case for the Darkest Dungeon um, for her. Primarily keeping those last couple of spots for, like, uh, jesters, Vestals, Occultists. Um, yeah, that's the way I look at it. Okay, so I'll take a break here. When we come back, we're going to go to the Sunward Isles, try to get this Beast Slayer's Ring, level these guys up, recover from our losses that we had, 
And then, um, depending on our cash situation, I might have to... Might have to also... Do an antiquarian run at some point. Yeah, this is cool. I'm really stoked. Like, I love this part now because I'm, I can taste the, that end goal. I can taste it. I want to, I want to get there. I want to destroy this freaking dungeon. Um, but we have to do the prep work. And so while we could probably go in there with a group right now, um, we'll prep a little bit more. And then uh, I also want to defeat the courtyard. So maybe what we'll do is look for a good opportunity to go in here when there's a good trinket. And we'll take it from there. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.